I can't wait for um, technology to get to that stage where you can smell what someone is cooking. That would be so awesome. But then it's going to make you hungry. All right, the secret to our egusi soup is our vegetables. So here's my spinach and this is how I do mine. So I get my spinach and I cut it up in this way. Usually I'll put my leaves. I try to arrange them all together. I put them all together. And as I've done, I've taken away the stalk. You don't want too much of the stalk. You want the real, the real leaves. All right, so I've cut up a whole bunch. I believe I did about four bunches of um, spinach leaves. And now I'm going to soak it in water. This way, the um, sometimes there's sand in the leaves and there's no way to pre-wash them, you know, before you cook them. Always make sure you wash your spinach. Uh, not wash your spinach. Um, make sure you kind of soak it in water so that way all the sand or dirt or, you know, whatever goes all the way down in the bottom. All right, so this is the next phase. So I start by heating my pan that I'm going to use, my pot. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys all my ingredients in one place, but it's still easy to follow. I'll list all the ingredients I'm using in the description box below. So I'm heating my pan. I'm pouring my um, oil. I've used this oil before. I can't remember what I used it for and I'm not a wasteful person. I reuse and recycle. So I'm using my oil here. I put about four to five spoons because I'm doing a whole bunch here. And then I'm gonna heat that up. So as that is heating up, I'm getting my ingredients, my other ingredients ready. All right, so here I'm cutting up my tomatoes. You need a, a couple of tomatoes. A couple of bell peppers i'm putting a couple of um habanero not habanero pepper a couple of jalapeno i'm putting a couple of jalapeno peppers in here as well that's going to be my base for my um a goosey soup a goosey vegetable soup i'm a fan of soup oh my gosh i love soup and you know don't confuse soup with stew african soup is actually blended veggies so instead of us eating dry rice, we use our soup as our um, hydrating agent in our foods. So our soup is actually something we use to hydrate our foods instead of eating them dry, like dry fish and dry rice. We use our soup to um, hydrate and keep our foods uh, moist. I know European soup is the one you eat when you're sick and that's usually um, just water, a lot of water water and a lot of um what you call a seasoning with a couple of you know a couple of chickens here and there but our soup is actually blended veggies and i love soup and soup is just veggies all my ingredients together i have about i believe this is eight cups this is nine cups yes nine cups of veggies that's what i'm doing today and i'm putting a whole onion girl we love veggies i make sure the kids have veggie i mean a lot of veggies in their diet sometimes i feel guilty like uh i don't present my veggies the way european the way caucasians present their um veggies in food and sometimes i feel guilty but i'm like nah we eat a lot of veggies we eat a lot more
the drama is getting started nothing makes me happier than sliced onions in hot oil that sizzle oh i'm like yes i live for that sizzle the sizzle just makes me happy makes me know that food is coming food is getting ready all right so when that's done I just let that I let the onions brown a little yeah get that season yeah, I'm sure you can see you can see it right oh my gosh I wish you could smell it I can't wait for um technology to get to that stage where you can smell what someone is cooking that would be so awesome but then it's gonna make you hungry So put that paste in there. Don't let it splatter. That's why I'm putting it on the spoon. Because if you put that all in there, it's just gonna splatter all over the place. All right, pour that all in. Mm. I missed this already. This is finished. Yeah, by the time you're watching this video, it is done. So please don't ask for don't say send me some. It's finished. It is finished. All right. So you're going to leave this, let it cook. For this much nine cups it doesn't even look like nine cups like this is gonna be finished in two days now maybe three days now nah, two days so i usually put my salt in here and you want to taste it i'm sure you guys know me by now i don't have recipe i just go with my tongue <laughs> i just taste it. it tastes good keep it moving recipe is for lazy people i take that back it's not for lazy people you just make things easier just taste it taste it. if it tastes good keep it going you know with recipes your tomato is not going to be the same tomato by the time you get your tomato your pepper is not going to be the same pepper so you have to taste the food i used to be scared of tasting food when i was younger and cooking i just expected the food to be magic to be magically sweet but now i taste it taste the food does it need more salt? Add salt. Does it need more seasoning? Add more seasoning. This here I'm doing is a secret to a goosey soup. If you want um, your egusi to have like the balls. So I got my um, powder from an African store. I'm sorry I forgot to show you um, how I mixed it. All I did was just put cool water. That's all I did. I put cool water in it and then I don't put too much. You put a little bit to make the consistency of not a paste, a thick paste. So then you'll be able to get those balls, um, those thick, uh, thick consistency and put it in the stew. You let that cook. That way you'll be able to get those eggs. Oh, it's delicious when you get those clumps of a goosey. Put that in there. Let it cook. Let it cook. And as you just saw, I put my um meats in there. I've done that already. So I just added that so it can get soft. And I'm sorry, I, will, I did this off camera. They do say a hungry man is an angry man. So when we have food in our tummies, we are happy um this is the last ball of the vegetable soup the the veggies what i did was um soak it in hot oil i poured hot oil so first i sieved out the veggies out of the cool water to get rid of all the um dirt under it and then i poured hot 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 water and what that does it it um it, shri it shrinks the veggies and also get the water out of the leaves there's a lot of water in the leaves so that gets all the water out of the leaves. if you don't do that it's gonna mess up the um consistency of your veggies and it's gonna make a mess i actually made this mistake when i was learning to cook the first time <laughs> i just poured the veggies inside the, the the stew just like that and i cried it was a waste it was a waste my leaves weren't soft they were just hard in the soup and it was so bitter i couldn't even eat it like that that's what happens when you cook bad food when you cook bad food only you will eat it so i learned the hard way um so you make sure you get hot 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 water to um get rid of the uh the water 
in the leaves and then you squeeze them out really 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 you get little little clumps and you squeeze them out so after you're all done then you can put them in your soup or stew you put them in your stew mix it all up and there you have it let it steam up a little bit you don't want to um after you add the veggies you don't want you don't want it to be on fire for a long time because what happens is the green the green what you really need is going to start burning and turn into brown so you don't want to cook it too much at this stage you just let it get hot and then it is time to be demolished so here i'm having amala the nigerian delicacy if you have any nigerian friends eat with them let them show you how this is done all right thank you guys for watching this is another episode thank you guys for watching this episode if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you want to join this family do subscribe and join lara Deji's limp Primp. we are peaceful here we are a peaceful family we are a peaceful bunch do join us and you can learn a lot on how to live peaceful what has amala and egusi soup got to do with living peacefully trust me when you have food in your tummy you are a happy person Stay blessed, you guys. You see me in my next one. You see me in my next one. Uh uh uh. See me in my next one. You see me in my next one. Bye.